Today is Wednesday, the 3rd of March, 2009. This is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. The market did finish with a gain here today of 71 cents, or 2.6% for the NASDAQ. Uh, but we can see that it's still in a primary downtrend, uh, still below the most recent uh, significant level of support, which was broken at the uh, $28 level. So we're going to need to at least get above there and hold above there for a day or two before we can think that we're maybe back into this range and things are going to be, be a little bit easier for the bulls uh, for more than uh, you know just a couple hours at a time but that $28 level is further uh, added as a, a level of significance because it's where we now find the declining 10-day moving average which of course is below the 20 and the 50 and the 100 and the 200 and just about every other moving average out there and they're all declining so we still haven't seen that capitulative volume sell-off there's a lot of people calling for uh, continued upside in here and if we can get above and hold above 28 well, we still have all these other potential levels of resistance. When we look at even on the 30-minute time frame, we can see we're still below this uh, pattern of lower highs and lower lows, trading in this really pretty tight little channel, actually. Um, but we have to look at the, the prior levels of, uh, of support, which had been resistance. Again, 28 is a uh, significant near-term one. This little low right in here near about uh, $28.80. And, of course, just above that, we had the uh, 29.20. And then, of course, 2960, which had been a bigger, uh, or 2980 rather, which had been a bigger level, 2960 to 2980, which had been a bigger level uh, throughout uh, a good portion of this year, actually, if we go back and uh, recall that level. Anyways, the weekly time frame still a mess. Um, we're, we're, we're in a bear market. You cannot get excited about this for more than, you know, what, what it is, which is just short-term uh, trading opportunities. So, again, we're still in this downturn trend nothing's changed when we look at the uh, 10 minute time frame let's go ahead and add that and this is real tech I get a lot of people asking me uh, what do I use what I'm gonna do is add the uh, the five-day moving average on there so I'm gonna add a moving average click OK and to get a five-day moving average on a 10 minute time frame you want to use 195 periods we're gonna put that on the right I'll display it uh, as a dotted line and keep it orange like these others and what you'll see is this is gonna end up in the same same spot that we see it on the uh, the uh, 30 minute time frame where we use a 65 period that's just simple math think about it for a little bit the markets open three and a half hours a day uh, six and a half hours a day uh, 13 periods 13 30 minute periods uh, times five days is 65 days uh, multiply that times three and you get 195 for the 10 minute time frame I did that fast but I explained it in my book so uh, take a look there if that's confusing anyways back to where we are we had seen the market uh, get up to this uh, you know just fall just short of this $28 level we do still have a declining five-day moving average and that means you want to look at these rallies as something you can trade when the one minute time frame tells you to but be aware that they have a, a greater likelihood of failing and we came right down to that declining five-day uh, uh, I'm sorry VWAP right here at the end of the day so we're still in a, a bear market it hasn't even begun to turn neutral here on the daily time frame frame yet so there's really not a lot to get excited about if it gets back above 28 and can hold there then maybe you get a little bit more optimistic but right now the evidence still is not there for a sustained rally uh, the Russell 2000 has been down a lot lately a lot of people are calling for the rally I've I've been long intraday in here but still only for day trades we still remain uh, right below uh, last year's intraday low uh, so we close still below that level from last year volume is very unconvincing we, we are definitely oversold and it's possible we may bounce a little bit further here but uh, for for me I'd rather I'd rather uh, miss uh, the rally than uh, take on what I think is too much risk uh, to hold positions overnight you always have uh, so many intraday opportunities to get involved um, and here on the, in the Russell 2000 great rally in, uh, later in the day we'd seen some volume as it got above the VWAP and then a nice little consolidation and there was a very good rally in here uh, the, that I was mentioning on Twitter and hopefully some of you took advantage of as well but again you have to look at this and even on these one minute time frames say higher highs and higher lows then it ran 
ran into a little resistance, broke a lower low here. No reason to continue to hold on the long side as you would have given up all your gains. It came right back down uh, to that daily VWAP. And here on the 10 minute time frame, we obviously, we, it, it remains a mess. There, there's still all these bigger levels of resistance that need to be taken out and the market needs time to heal. We've got, uh, this is an important area, that five day moving average is still declining. We want to see it leap above there on an increase in volume uh, and then see it that five day moving average flatten out and hold above it. So still got a lot of work to do, nothing to get excited uh, about on the long side. There's some great intraday trades and, and, and that's really what this market uh, is is boiled down to at this point. It just seems as though, you know, one, one emailer asked me today, Brian, can you talk about the, the likeness of the market to a casino? The, the nature of what our market is is really pretty broken, I think. Um, for me, it's a place to, uh, to, to manage risk, you know, look at, look at making bets each day, manage risk. But as far as investing go, I think a lot of people got scammed by the uh, whole buy and hold uh, um, argument. And, uh, you know, I think more people are coming to that realization, unfortunately, as, as stocks like uh, uh, General Electric, you know, continue to hit, uh, what they hit, I guess, 16 year uh, lows or so today. You can look at this, you know, General Electric and say, well, maybe that's the washout volume, but maybe tomorrow's volume is even bigger. There's big problems out there still, and one day's rally does not cure them. So looking at the financials, the financials finished with another uh, new low as far as a closing basis goes and intraday so we continue to see new lows in here a lot of people still saying they're a good value and uh, gonna get this you know huge rally but the evidence still isn't there yet we've got a steeply declining five-day moving average this market cannot hold on to rallies for more than a day or two and we still got these lower highs and lower lows even on the uh, intraday time frame so looking at a 30 minute time frame again yesterday I said a lot of people were saying well this is a double bottom the double bottom failed as it took that out what we need to see See happen I think is 760 at least the market has to get back above there to, to start to heal uh, it's broken it's a bear market and it takes time uh, the S&P 500 was up 2.3 percent today it gained a dollar 66 traded a little bit heavier volume than yesterday we're right about right about uh, with yesterday a little bit heavier than average recently still below last year's intraday's lows still below this prior level of support that had just recently broken still in a bear market the weekly time frame a big mess deeply oversold and all that but definitely not a reason to buy uh, it's better to be on the sidelines and cash wishing you you were in rather than to be in and wishing you were out as they say that's not my saying but uh, you know we did get a little rally nice little rally in here I had taken advantage of that with the uh, BGU which is the triple long uh, I think it's a Russell 2000 but it closely mirrors the uh, SPY and same story here this market rallied up higher highs higher lows but then it completely failed right back down to VWAP didn't completely fail I shouldn't say that because we finished with a dollar 66 gain but in the grand scheme of things we're still in a severe bear market we need to at least take out 75 before we can think about the long side it's just a mess